G'day beaks and beaks to be. Are you curious about learning more about beekeeping? I have been a beekeeper for over 55 years and rearing queen bees since the 1980s. When I met Alan through my local beekeeping club, I knew nothing about bees. Right, we're, 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 look, we're look, looking for a uh, newly uh, emerged queen that's been uh, laying here for around about uh, 30 days. So we're going to try and find her and clip her and mark her before she's put into the bigger hive. Just make sure you pull out the first frame very, very steadily because you don't know where she is. Look at that for brood. Isn't that a nice pattern? Yeah, that's unreal. So after the 30 days, they're settled. she's settled enough to be marked and clipped safely? That's correct, yes. And you're, and you're sure after that point that she's definitely finished mating and so forth? And look at the size of the bees. That's, that's telling you that uh, they're on high quality protein pollen. Generally, after 30 days, the queen can only glide. She cannot fly because of her size and her weight. Before a hive swarms, the nurse bees stop feeding the queen approximately seven days so she shrinks back down to the size of a normal bee, enabling her to fly. Now you see here with this, uh, see these indents with, 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 with this comb through here and through here, there's no nectar coming in so they started to, or they started to, uh, to draw it and then the, the nectar coming in stopped and then uh, it was really a dearth and they started to chew it out again. So that was timing of when we put a frame of foundation in, that shortly after the dearth started? That's correct. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 The queen goes out and mates with up to a dozen drones and sometimes she will go out one day only or maybe two days about five o'clock in the afternoon depending on weather conditions to a drone congregation area. Looks like this queen doesn't want to be found. It has been said that the queen can hold sufficient sperm in her spermatheca to lay about a million eggs. So this queen herself, Alan, would have been from the genta, no, or from this, a graft, no, yeah. or even a self-reared queen. This, this, this is a self-reared queen, this yep. particular one. We like to exchange our queens in our honey production hives between 12 and 15 months. Looks like she might be on the side walls. Sunlight in the bottom always helps to have a look. To get good self-reared queens, there must be a huge amount of nurse bees to provide royal jelly to feed a queen cell. Even though they are Italian carny hybrids, sometimes they can be still very hard to locate. These they're big bees. Yeah, nice, nice colour too. Yeah, yeah plump, plump bees. Right, so we found the queen. She's on the side wall here. Here she is. I'll, I'll bring her up. There she is. Just turn your hand into the sun now. Still quite flighty, but she's past that point, so you can tell how active young queens are. Yeah, she's fine. Right, this, this, is the, this is the queen that we thought we didn't have. So now we're going to a marker and clipper. She, she's a 2015 uh, queen, so we're going to clip the half of the left wing, and then we're going to mark. Right, let me get a good, let me get a close up on there. Eight, if I come from that way. The reason for marking the queen so that you can see them quite easily when you've got huge numbers of bees. The dob. There it is. And just held on to it for, for a second so that uh, the whiteout starts to dry. There you go, there, there's your queen marked. So now we'll just put it back on the frame. There she is. You can see her quite easily now. She's burrowing in underneath, underneath the others. The reasoning for clipping the queen's wings is so that she is unable to fly with a swarm. Even years, the right half wing is clipped. Odd years, the left wing is clipped. Oh, that just goes the different, shows the difference uh, when they're marked, how, how it's much easier it is to find them. We've just marked and clipped the queens, the left, left half of, of the queen for the odd year, and uh, the white out. We only use white out. We don't use international colour marking colour codes because they only last about 12 to 15 months. 
So I just put her in the cage until we put this back together again. Tip it up so she goes, climbs up. She won't run out. Put it in the front of the of the uh, entrance. But uh, now that we've found the queen and put the queen on the entrance, so we know where she is, we put the high back there again. And because this particular hive is a five frame and we've got the four frame on top because we haven't got any more gear, we've put this piece of timber here to just as, as a balk to, to finish it off. before you put your lid on. Otherwise, if there's a wall of bees outside, she can come up the outside and get above the excluder. There she goes. Just a couple of quick puffs. Just push her inside, finished. All right. Five to go.